Hey everybody, welcome to Burke Bunch TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Burke Theater again. We're going to be taking a look at replacing this baby. So this is what we are upgrading to, the JVC DLA X790RB. This is a beautiful projector. This projector is highly rated by magazines such as Widescreen Review, a great magazine I've subscribed to. Let's check it out. Let's open the box and get into it. There's the remote. The remote is nothing special, that's for sure. However, I won't be using it as I'll be setting it up with my Command 4 system. This thing weighs a ton. It's gonna rip out my ceiling. Good thing I put in wood up there. THX 3D display. The HDMI inputs are on the back of the unit, along with some power buttons. Let's take a look at the lens. Infrared reader, power indicators, and a monster sized lens. Airflow runs through here, comes out the back. Ow! Evil, stay away! You're going down, Yogi. You wait, you'll sleep. On the bottom here, which would be facing the ceiling, is filter. Got to make sure the filter stays clean. They suggest you wash it out with water and let it dry in the shade, not in direct sun. Don't vacuum it because it can damage the screen parts. Keep it clean though so you get good airflow and you don't burn out your bulb. Time to take off the old one. Disconnect the wires. So bad news, it doesn't look like the Sony mount's going to work on the JVC. So this is the poor man's mount until I can get a real one. Might be kind of sacrilegious mixing JVC and Sony boxes. Okay, maybe not what you should be doing with precision, very expensive equipment, but I'm kind of desperate to see this thing working and it's, it's pretty stable. No kids allowed near the stand. Okay, let's try this. Action. Beauty. I also picked up the Sony UBP X700 4K player. Highly rated. Without being crazy expensive. So, we're going to pull this out. We're going to stick it in the rack behind me. See if we get some 4K showing up on that projector. Well, the quest for Ultra HD has hit a bit of a snag. 4K is requires a bigger bandwidth than the cable that I have. So, it's standard speed. I think that's the problem, and I'm getting nothing but black screen, though I am getting sound. So I picked up an HDMI 2.0 optical. 100 feet. Wow, nice. It runs most of the line. 99% of it in optical, so you don't have to worry about the speed slowdown. And it's rated for 4K, 60 hertz. The thing about optical HDMI, it is endpoint specific. So I have a source, must go into the AVR receiver, my den, and the display. A little bit hillbilly, riding all the way across the floor and up to my lovely stack O boxes. But now I'll be able to see if it's a cable problem. And look at that, your TV supports 4K UHD 60 Hertz. That was fans. Uh, yes, Miss Croft. Yeah. Now with the cable tested, I know it works. Time to fish it through. I've got a little hole up in the ceiling there where I run my ceiling speakers. It was plugged with soundproof putty to keep the sound in the theater and not waking up the mom. I'm gonna fish it through the hole and run the back into the rack. That is the little hole. I'm gonna run the HDMI cable through there right now. Okay, I'm gonna fish it through using this little fiberglass fish stick, not the edible kind, and a little bit of tape. And 
And there it is, pulled right through. Now to run it across the ceiling into this wall where the rack is. There we go, the HDMI cable is run temporarily. It's running right along this trough here all the way into the other room. So that means it's time to replace the mount for the Sony with the JVC mount. I purchased one called an Omni mount. It's a universal projector mount and it works really well with the JVC DLAs. There we go, it's good up to 40 pounds and the projector is about 34 pounds. Pull this one out of the box. Good thing about the Omni mount, it apparently comes with everything you need to install it. So if you don't have any tools, you're good to go. Let's find out if that's true. That is the main housing. That looks like the cap. And these must be the arms. Four adjustable arms to fit your projector. Okay, first step, I'm gonna take off the old one. Goodbye, Sony. Okay, that marks the screw holes. You can drill in a pilot hole there. I'm gonna mount this plate right up there on the ceiling. And I'm gonna fill in the old holes with some soundproof putty. I'm using duct seal putty to fill in the holes. It never hardens, stays flexible, so it's really good for sound. <laughs> Four bolts in place with washers. Time to attach the plate. Slips over like that. What we're going to do now is remove the part that screws up into the ceiling, take the plate, attach it directly to the bottom of the projector. You can see the keystone attachments. We lift up the projector, and all we have to do is lock it into place. Okay, let's put this on the ceiling. Time for the leg posts. So I take the ones that came with the projector off. Now, the machine bolts that came with the Omni mount don't actually fit into the projector because the little foot is not long enough. So what I'm going to do is use a 1032 inch and a half machine screw and it's gonna go in through the top with a washer to keep the arms in place. Now we attach the plate to the legs using the supply bolts and tighten them up. There we go, the mount is on and it is ready for the ceiling. Let's do it. That thing's a beast. At least it's in place. Now to lock the projector into place, I'm just gonna tighten this little screw up. That way it can't spin and fall off the mounting brackets. There, it is done, mounted. Um, might need a little adjustment. So what I do now is I'm gonna adjust the projector based on the screen, and then I'll lock it with that ring at the top. This here is my infrared blaster, so I'm going to put that onto there and tape it on, hook it up to my control four, so I can control the projector from the remote. Now with the projector mounted, it just takes a little tweaking to make sure that it fits in the screen. I'm gonna use tilt, yaw, and then we'll lock it into place, and I can work on fine tuning using the pattern you see behind me. Right now it's a little bit high. It's kind of showing up on the ceiling a little bit even. Okay, the projector is installed, adjusted, and I even had somebody come in and do some calibration. So my theater is now officially THX certified. Yeah, and the projector is looking pretty awesome. 
So let's take a look at some uh, Red Dead Redemption, which I can capture. It's not truly coming off the projector, but still gives you an idea. Looks pretty amazing. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this great Burke Bunch TV episode. The newest addition to the Burke Home Theater, the JVC Precision Projector. And I have to say, very impressed. That picture is awesome, especially when it's THX calibrated. I got the fancy plaque as part of it. Sweet. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all under Burke Bunch TV. Subscribe, click that bell, and we'll let you know when we have more Burke Bunch TV on the way. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the whole home theater series. It was quite an adventure building this room, but it's getting good.